Today, we're going to take a look at how to create an interactive menu in PowerShell that will allow your users to provide command line input that will you know, change the direction or, or change what they're running in your script. The first thing we want to do is construct a function. In this case, we'll call it show menu. And this function is merely going to display the options that the user has in front of them. To expand the functionality, we're going to create this function with one parameter, the title. The default value will be my menu, but this will allow us to reuse this chunk of code. Uh, anytime we want to create a menu, we can pass the title for it. All right, so as we see here, we have our function created. If we want to call our function, show menu, pass it the title text snips, we'll see that at the command line, we get the Menu, the title that we pass text snips, the list of options for our users, we return to the command prompt. Of course, this by itself is not incredibly useful, so we want to look at how to package this together to make a useful interactive menu. And to do that, quite simply, what we want to do is put this menu inside a, a loop, capture input from the user using read host to capture that uh, input from the command line, and then test that input against a switch statement, which will take action based on which e option the user provides. The pause will let us wait. Uh, the user can see the results of the option they selected, and then they can come back to this menu, continue to make choices until they've, they've selected Q to quit. So let's run this section of code and see how the, the menu experience would work for our user. We have the menu we created, the text snips menu. The user can select an option. In this case, we'll select one. We uh, took the action, as we can see from the, the switch statement. Hit return, we can make another selection. Continue to cycle through these options. And then finally, when the user is done, they can select Q and return back to the, the PowerShell command line from your script. As easy as that, thank you.